Now it became, you know, the days pass and they pass eternally and endlessly. Every day has 3,653 hours in it. Well, I got to be what they call short time. You know, everybody walks around, short time, I'm short time. Three weeks, baby, short time. Four weeks, short time. You know, some dude's doing so much time. Six years, short time. Although nobody really did that, man. It was, uh, you know, if you were down to within a month, you were called short time, and everybody called you short time, and you said to them you would rat, you know, and friends of yours in jail would be really happy for you. What are you going to do when you make this big man? First thing you're going to do, you're really going to get yourself some, you know, what? Oh, suck it, toy boy, why, why, you know? Man, I tell you, you'll get so high and get crazy, man, and get and go, you know, and all of that jazz, man, and everybody was really feeling good, you know, if you were short. So, for me, I couldn't breathe. I mean, every day I would, you know, <gasps> I mean, I was filled from my stomach straight up into my throat and my tongue, you know, with total incredible anxiety. <sighs> and they don't give you no pills, and you don't get no tranquilizers in jail, of course. So every night I don't sleep, and, you know, it's like from... I, I get up at four in the morning and I lie there and I'm in the jail and I'm counting. Each day is going by endlessly. Now, finally, man, I'm going to make the gray goose. I'm going to get out. It's my last day, man. And just I'm, I'm about to get out, a guard comes and gets me. You might get out today, but we're not sure. You're going to have to make the early bus to uh, Long Beach uh, to go to court there. Go to court? For what? What are you talking about, man? I haven't done anything. I've been in jail. How can I do anything? He says, parking tickets. I said, parking tickets? You're crazy. I he said, well, they have some outstanding warrants left on you, and they want to just solve them, you know, whatever it'll be. So they take me in on a chain to Long Beach. And now they lock me up in the cell behind the courtroom in Long Beach while I'm awaiting to be heard on my traffic offenses. Parking tickets. And I'm panicked. I'm thinking, you know, my God, man, while I'm here, they'll hold me. Actually, what's to stop them? I mean, what's really to stop them? Oh, I assumed that maybe someday my mother would realize that I should have gotten out. <laughs> no, she was nice to that. She would have known. But still, what's to stop them? And I'm panicked, man. And finally, they call me, you know, Roman. So I, I come out, and I go into the court, and I am scared. And the judge says, uh, there are three parking tickets, and since you were incarcerated for such a long period of time, I'm going to suspend the bail and sentence on all of these three parking violations. You're free to go. And suddenly, I was standing there, I, was, I, I just, he said, you're free to go. Free to go. Well, man, I'll tell you something. All the time that I did, in there, which is not in any way compared to the time that a lot of other dudes have done for all sorts of reasons, and some of them being political, every one of us is going to agree that there's one thing that's right. There's only one thing that you own, and that's your life, man. And you only own it as long as you got your freedom, the freedom to do what you want to do with it, man, every day. And I'm going to tell you something, brother. Don't lose that. <laughs> it's really dynamite. Get it out and put it on. It's a great big smile. 